there, I'm in Stockport and this is Maggie's Caves. Maggie's Caves, also referred to as the Brinksway Caves, are a group of artificial caves located in Brinksway by the River Mersey in Stockport. The caves were excavated by navvies chipping away at the naturally eroding sandstone on the Cheedale side of the River Mersey. The Brinksway Caves take their name from Brinksway, the main road running alongside it. The road itself takes its name from the Middle English Brink, an edge or bank, and the Old English Weg, a path hence, a road at the brink. The caves date back to the 17th century. They were likely to have been excavated by workers from the local mills, or by the river navvies, both of whom had the tools and experience to tunnel out these caves. The caves are also legend to have been modernised and extended by the navvies building the nearby Stockport Viaduct in 1839 to 1840. The caves functioned as a residence for the navvies, who were legend to have often caused mayhem in the local taverns when they were not working on the viaduct. After the viaduct was completed, the caves began to be used for industrial purposes, including as a factory and later a tar gas distillery. The War Ministry took command of the caves in 1938, where sections of the caves were excavated to construct air raid shelters, the first of which opened on the 28th of October 1939. As the threat of bombing had subsided by 1943, the shelters were used less often and most local residents slept in their homes. The shelters were sealed off from the public in 1948 by local contractors working on behalf of the Ministry of Defence. Joining me on this explore is the Urban Legend UK. He has a YouTube channel and the link is in the description box. So you can see this was hand carved. A little vent up there. The majority of it, you can see the pick marks where they've hand carved this out. tunnel through here but well, part of it brick it's part bricked out and there's little culverts that have been bricked up little refuges for some reason but there's definitely pit marks here so this has been hand carved wow look at this Now, rumour has it that this was used as a wine store at one point and it does have some slight parts that would suggest it's been used in modern times because this wall's been plastered or rendered and it's been bricked as if it was used as some sort of store and then there's some more modern parts here as well these are modern steels from the 20th century and 20th century brickwork. But the, the stonework's from much earlier than that. We've got modern drainage down there that could have been added as a different project at a later date. Yeah, this is surface water drainage that for some reason has been, it's come through as brick there, so it's probably Victorian and then later it's been lined with clay pipe. You're quite right there. I've got it all day, 
there is, it used to be an old uh, warehouse uh, factory basically and I've knocked that down and there's a river underneath and you can actually see the river and I think this is part of the river where it comes to drain out to the river oh wow yeah yeah so there is a large river down there I don't know if you can see it there's a large river there and then this is adjoining it so yeah that would make a this lot of sense this has been used as a basement at one time as well and other numbers of things so here's exactly where we are consulting my good friend Google Maps zooming into Stockport England we can see the M60 motorway and the River Mersey. Moving closer, here is the factory the urban legend talked about. Across the road from the raised riverbank where we are now, the factory has now been partly demolished and the road blocked off by hoarding. Keep watching as we find something really big and interesting in the remaining parts of the factory that the demolition team have possibly not been expecting and have left it in place. Look at the condition of the exterior of this building, the architecture of a generation now getting forgotten to what is now going to be some bulk home building. It's a shame that this couldn't be saved to be a future business or converted into apartments. You can see here where there's been racking of some sort which does suggest that it was used as wine storage. Head back that way there, yeah. Yeah, through there. Yeah. Someone's had a party in here at some point, so brought a builder's bucket, monster munch, yakult, because you want to be healthy. Sure, that's yakult. And then uh, some German cider. <laughs> and cigarettes. I left all the stuff here and one shoe. There's always one shoe to Lacoste as well. It's had a landslide quite recently. Oh, yeah. And it's opened a cabin to the air. Oh, oh, wow, yeah. It doesn't go nowhere that I've had a lot of Yeah, that has been quite a subs subsidence, hasn't it? Yeah, and just be careful if you come across here if you don't want to slip down there. No, that would have been the river. The Urban Collective broke his camera here. He slipped to come up here and nearly went down. A few years ago, a woman broke her back after a 10 metre fall here, requiring rescue from specialist firefighters. Yeah, it's slippery, it's like moss covered rock. Oh yeah, there's another big, big cave there. You've got like a lot of room there. I wouldn't go in there because that's where some needles are. Oh, okay. Bit of drug, drug use. Oh yeah, I can see needles already. And a spoon. So we've been cooking up in there. Cooking up heroin. There's another spoon there as well. A, I'll take your word for it, I can't see it. Oh yeah, bent spoon, yeah. It's, it's, so what they do is they get heroin powder and they boil it up. Boil it up into a solution, suck it into a syringe and then inject it. Interesting. You know, all this all been hand carved out. You can see where it's got a it's got a crack right along it though, where it's all starting to break up because this is just soft sandstone. It's got a horizontal crack all the way along there, almost its entire length. So this won't be here for much longer. A couple more winters, it'll break up and go. Sadly. There's so a lot of ash here that's been dumped, I think. This is ash. And this is where the sort of tunnelling ends. It's a very interesting place because it's so random. 
to have this in uh, in Stockport near the river. If you, if you see that bench over there on the other side of the river, there's actually a plaque that told you all about this cave. Oh really? Yeah, but it's not good on the other side of the river, is it really? Not really. So we've just crossed the road and we're in an area shelter now from the Second World War. There's one of the old light fixtures here. Proper old light fitting that's been sort of uncovered recently. And this is all the old ventilation system. So it's been a proper bunker this one. The old light fitting. The old light fitting there. There's another light fit in there. Yeah, yeah. that's the other light, yeah. And someone's been digging there by the looks of it. That's all caved in. Yeah, look at this old bottle here. Milk, yeah, that one. The one bottle. Hells Didsbury. 568 mil, so it's not that old, because it's got the metric system on it. Fuse there. It's not plug in fuse. More of the old electrics. Lots of bricks randomly. You can actually see how far it goes back to the other one. No, because the other door. Oh, yeah. If you look, you see all this has been dug out, so we've dug it all out. There's a shit that's made there. Someone's been busy then, aren't they? If you stick your head in there, you'd see how I up. There's part of the light as well. Yeah, there's an old light fitting part there. But if you stick your head through, you can actually see another wall like this on the other side. Oh, right. And how much dirt's gone through. They all up there. It goes on and on, which is really cool. Because these were. Uh, these were a network, they weren't just one, they were like in a row. And they all had intersection blast walls like this to break it all up if one end got hit. You see the old uh, eggshell blue paint and where they've gone over it to paint it white afterwards over the years. We'll say bye bye for now. This is the Urban Legend UK. He does live streams. That's some cobweb that's unrelated to the video. Now I'm Andy. See you soon. Bye bye. Looking over my shoulder. Looking back at your door. In my head it goes over and over. Should I